Well, hello there, YouTube. Remember how low all those limbs were hanging down yesterday? Isn't that crazy what some wet snow will do? It actually snowed again last night and filled everything in with a nice dusting. But it's, it's since warmed up. It's like 34, 35 out here now. Old Kai Kai out there in a little spot. Man, you can see the trees color, turning colors in the background there. Kylie looks like she's about to lay down for a little morning nap. We're still under a winter weather thing until, I don't know, like 11 or something this morning. That was pretty wild yesterday though, huh? Well, old war wagon, you're up today. Definitely a wintery mix out here. Ooh, it's gonna be a long drive to work. Well, mama? It's okay. Despite a harrowing start, yeah, <laughs> and a few, even a few miles down the road, it was sleeting and stuff on us. But I get here to the store and it's nice. Yeah, it's not raining, it's yeah. not sleeting, and it's not snowing. Yeah, it's only 39 degrees here, which is yeah. unusually cold for Vanchulo. Yeah, it's gonna be cold yeah. today. Yep, yeah, gonna be a cold one. Bundle up, keep yep. the heaters near, <laughs> near and dear. Yeah. All right, Moth. All right, Paul. Off to the grind. All right, you have, have a good your, day. Yep, you do the same. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you, babe. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Guess who that is? That's my 2020 Chalk Spider RT Limited. They're uh, getting their preseason checked. I don't think it even needs oil in it. And uh, I guess I haven't seen it yet, but uh, putting a rear rack on it, on the uh, trunk lid. Somebody was asking me on an F3 if you could put the heated RT seat on the F3. Unfortunately, no. How they mount is completely in every way different. Not even close. Even the size, the, it's so large, the RT rear seats. Well, I was just about to take my old uh, 2020 demo for a ride. I thought I'd get this Riker on my bench and I'd warm up for a second. And uh, yeah. She's a downpour. Let's, let's take a look. Take a real look out here. Oh yeah. I was looking at that cloud and I said, Cloud, you don't look real happy. Look at it going by in waves out there. I'd have got flat soap. Then BMW's gonna get wet. Looks like you're getting close on our door out there. The guy's out there welding and carrying on. Poor guy out there in that weather all day today. Looks like he's a lone soldier today. Oh, well. I don't know if it'll dry up in time to take it for a ride. Dang. Whew. That was wild. Even had a lightning strike like right over our heads. Stand out here talking. Go oh, wow! I mean, flash bang! It was right on top of us. Look at all that collected out there. It's crazy. Dropped to like 42 degrees. I don't know what it was. Oh well. Good lord! Now it's pouring down snow. Wonder a severe thunderstorm watch. That one strike. There's been plenty more after that. But they were, you know. It was distance between the flash and the bang and that one was right over us right over this door Woo! isn't that crazy but this doesn't change that was a long ways to drive that old war wagon home <laughs> in the snow and crazy people we'll see that it's only like two something here Maybe it's about three. Hopefully it'll dry up, stop snowing or something here in, in a few. I need to take this and that Riker um, in for a preseason check. Same with the Riker. Uh, some noise with the brake pads or the brakes. Um, everything is literally perfect. So maybe he's got a little bit of glazing or something. Maybe he's too easy or too hard on him. That's the backrest or the rack 
for the rear trunk they went with. It's kind of cool. Lots of little loop things to tie things down. That's pretty cool. The um, C to Sky and the F3 Limited uh, Special Series will um, come with the trunk rack piece, but it's that solid aluminum one that BRP sells, which is really cool. It's weird seeing, seeing your old gal. <laughs> but this one's in, this is in great shape. Nothing wrong with it at all. Whoever did the um, oil check on it or whatever it is, it's kind of tricky to do these. They have to be at full temp. And um, you have 10 seconds to, uh, after you shut it down, to check the oil absolutely right, perfectly on the full line. These 600s are nice. It's got the stereo on there, and you can see little things, um, little plug-ins. Whatever that one is, it's not plugged into anything. But I, when I pulled the um, hood off to hook it up the diagnostics and uh, check up, check the battery. It dong, I go, oh, he's got a, good thing I don't yank on things. Boy, don't ever just like yank on something. Anyway, as soon as I started to lift it, it felt like it had a, a drawstring on it, you know, something to keep it from disappearing. Nope, he's got a little LED that's underneath right here. So that was plugged in. So yeah, good thing you don't yank on it. Anyway, I'll try to get these both these tests right road if we can. Let's go see if we can bust out a couple of test rides here. Looks like things are drying up rapidly. Oh, that's my old gal. Hello, my old friend. Look at that. The steam coming up from the sun. Drying them roads at such a rapid rate. Look at all the roofs and everything. Ooh, that's almost surreal looking. How you been? Oh, dim, dim, demo. Yeah, they got themselves a stack of firewood out there. Is that the best thing to have out there in the woods? They've already caught them woods on fire a couple times. <laughs> you remember a couple, three years ago, I was test riding that Harley and just woof a ah, big old fireball coming out the middle of them things and the uh, they have those little propane bottles you know the little small ones and um, the things were blowing up out there I was afraid to, <laughs> I was afraid to drive past oh my goodness incoming <laughs> Look at this, this is wonderful. Watch, I'll probably drive right past them. Yeah, there they are right there, pulling in the parking lot. <laughs> they don't even, even notice me. That's cool, nicest people. 99% of the spider people are incredible. Got our first 22 being assembled upstairs. Well, uh, I say that loosely because we're missing the the internal motor and bracket. Not this bracket, but the one inside that, uh, oh, I almost shot that thing a, a turn early, didn't I? Glad I'm paying attention to my six. Because uh, hitting the brakes like that could uh, get you in trouble. There's nobody there. Anyway, so it's missing that. The reverse. Um, the little servo thing that reverse lockout, I think it's is what they call it. Whatever the technical name is. It looks like the same thing that used to release the trunks. Remember you used to have the old electric trunk release? 2010 through 12. I think RTS and RT Limited inside them. Alright, she's doing everything nicely. Of course it would. 
their fender the uh, what you call it the little extra uh, fender on the back of the BRP trailer hitch and <laughs> things always touch durable as heck I don't think you can possibly wear one out it's just kind of rubberized plastic it's phenomenal I just hear it back there going across those sharp bumps all right Yeah, light her up there a little bit. Mm, I miss this thing. She was my friend until the bitter end. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut you off here. out so they can make a quick exit all right thanks for coming along for a short rip all right they're so nice those folks the perfect people ever to end up with with one of my demo oh hey it's electrically working <laughs> You just. I just closed it. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. Oh, so so how's that gonna work? Oh, what? What do you think of that, man? No way. It's freaking great this afternoon. They didn't tell us that. <laughs> I'm never gonna get it out of that traffic jam. Wow, that's cool. So it's a sensor that sees us, huh? What's it's that? a sensor that sees us approaching it. Oh, it's like a traffic. I got it on a timer, so after a certain time, probably 6.30 or something, And then you just got to manually do it, or? No, you'll have it. If you're supposed to be here, you'll probably have it. Gotcha. Yeah, and if somebody that jumps and tries to try something out, this won't work after, you know, whatever that magic time is, they tell me. You guys Perfect. Well, that's good. So are you going to be right in the middle of something? I was just going to take a quick lap and come right back. All right. I, I mean, I, maybe five minutes at the most. So we'll try to bust this thing up. So what I need to ask is, uh, what if you're coming in? Because surely they're not going to have it so that, uh, I don't know. So there is a remote for the off hours. I don't know if you guys could hear anything he said there. I don't hear any, any brake noise on this thing. Just do another little quickie, little loopy loop here. Just have a little fun with it here. Oh man, the brakes work real good. he's being uh, super easy on it or something and they're glazing now you might be hearing that little they make this uh, there's a metal bracket that holds the uh, the bottom of the tank and that bracket can make some noise. I thought that was I thought that was a 19 only thing. But it's easy, uh well not easy, but I got a wrench I can get in there and you loosen this uh it's a six millimeter bolt with ten millimeter head. If you guys can hear that little chirping, I bet you I 
Hear that? I'm so used to him doing it, nobody says anything. I don't even think about it anymore, but you know, I'm like hyper paying attention to like brake noise, and I'm thinking, you know, when you're backing off, hitting the brakes, you hear that sound. I wonder if that's not what he's hearing and thinking it's something else. Did you hear that? Rikers, man. What a riot. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can fix that for him right quick. and everything are doing good Mike's got low miles on it it's just that it's gonna be that bracket I can fix that right quick get back so that guy can finish working on his gate <laughs> that poor guy's been out here all by himself all day I don't even need to put this thing on my bench. I can just get down right quick and do that. Maybe he's got room to get that BMW out. All right. We got both test rides in. In the dry. A little bit of rain on the way home here. It was nice when we left. With all the snow up in the mountains up there. Even though it's a very cool 37, de Sasha? 37 degrees out here, all the uh, all the ice melted. That's pretty nice. It's gonna be a beautiful evening. How about that? As soon as we start to do the goodbye, the sun pops out behind a cloud. That's gonna blast us in the face and be all squinty. It's all right. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of cool. Got two a spider and a Riker ride with all that weather. That's crazy, that's huh? Nuts. That was never going to happen, was it? No. But it did. That's cool. You're crazy me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had that heater too high in that car because I am freezing. Yeah, I'm very cold. Even Kelly turned the heater down. She goes, are you cold? And I go, not at all. She goes, well, I'm about to burn up. I said, well, I'm just leaving the heat on because you're the one that's always cold. <laughs> I know. It caught up with me. I'm yeah. burning up. But anyway, I think we're going to slip on out, finish off our day, build a vlog, and do this again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.